Word Testers. Yeah, what's good guys? It's Nightwing2303 from WordTesters.com. Welcome back to another unboxing a ton of dope shit. And today we do have a ton of dope shit. Disclaimer, if you don't like toys, leave now. And let's go ahead and get right into it. So the first thing, we got a pair of sneakers. And this is from Anta. The good people over at Anta were cool enough to send me a new pair of sneakers. It's their new runner. Now I don't know what they're called because there's no like name of the shoe <laughs> on there or actually that might be the name of the shoe but I don't know what it says I'm clearly not Asian I'm, I'm white but as the box label says let's keep it moving so here they are this is a new runner from Anta um, they have a knitted upper which is really cool because if you've been watching or not watching but visiting weartesters.com we recently published an article featuring uh, Clay Thompson's playoff shoes for this upcoming playoff run and those uh, Anta KT1s actually were revamped with a knitted upper. If you want to check those I'll try to remember to leave a link in the description box. But this is their new stuff. It's just a, a knitted upper. It's fully breathable. You could probably see through um, some of the stuff right here. But yeah, these are pretty cool. They're fairly comfortable. They remind me of other shoes that I will not mention. So, you know, feel free to make jokes if you want to. But this is what they sent. They also sent a bunch of gear as well, but I won't be showing that just because of time constraints. But this is Anta's new runner. Again, they're doing new materials, more modern materials, and I think that's really dope. So I'm interested to see what they got coming up with their other stuff that's not in the running category, more so in the basketball category. I can't wait to see what they come up with. This kind of materials in that type of shoe. Now we'll get into some comic book pickups. First up, we got some X-Men here, and this is the Age of Apocalypse. It looks like it's a reprint or a retelling of the story, and it's probably because the new movie's coming out, and this is actually a really cool, like, uh, you put the, the thing together, so you see Wolverine's arm right there. It's pretty badass. So hopefully you can see that. They used to do this shit in the 90s all the time, and I always thought it was dope, because you wanted to collect, like, every single one so you can put them together. Now I do have the graphic novel of the Age of Apocalypse, but I haven't read it. I just never got around to it. But I did read these two issues, and uh, again, I don't know if they're reprints or retellings, or like it's like a brand new version of the Age of Apocalypse, but I saw them on the store and I was like, yo, I'll just try them. Or not try them, but like pick them up. And if I can figure out where I put my Age of Apocalypse graphic novel, then I will see if they are actually reprints or retellings, but I'll find out later. Now along with that, I saw on the shelf that they had Spider-Man 2000 99, which is one of the coolest Spider-Mans ever. I got his little action figure over here. You can't see him, but you know, he's over there. And the reason why I picked this up is because dude has a new costume. And I was like, yo, the, the Spider-Man 2099 costume is probably the best costume besides the Miles Morales costume. So I was shocked to see it, but this is a pretty badass costume in itself, man. This is pretty sick. And I actually have the original Spider-Man 2099 issues, like the first like 10 series or not 10 series, but 10 issues or whatever. So it's pretty cool that I was able to get like another number one along with all the books that follow. With that being said, another pair of sneakers. Bam! You guys already know what these are. It's the D-Row 6. It's the Prime Net version, the all-star colorway. And these things are f***ing beastly. So as most of you guys might know, I'm slowing down on the performance review side just because my body can't handle constantly just wear testing new stuff every single week. Wear testing takes a lot out of your body if you do it properly. And with me taking on less responsibility of the wear testing, I'm giving more responsibility to the wear tester staff. By the way, that is not an open invitation. We have a full staff. I'm not looking for new staff members. I appreciate everybody that wants to be a part of the staff because you want free shoes, but you know, that's just not how it works. Now, why did I pick up these guys? Simple. I needed a pair of basketball shoes that was going to suit my needs. And I'll explain more of that later when I do the separate review for these guys here. It'll be somewhat performance based because it'll be an updated performance review, but I'll also explain a little bit more of what I mean. But I did pick these up. They're fucking awesome. Go grab them before they're gone. More nerd shit. I bought a ton of action figures that I've been hunting down on eBay, all of which are Ninja Turtle figures, original Ninja Turtle figures. And one of the sellers sent me some surprise like cells from the actual TV cartoon show. And I didn't know that that was happening. I bought the figures and he just threw them in there. And I was like, dude, that was awesome. So here they are. We got Master Splinter and we got Donatello. And again, these are cells from the cartoon. And cells are just kind of like film scenes or little clips or whatever. And they even have a whole certificate of authenticity authenticity on there, which I think is pretty funny. And yes, I went a little ham. Man, dropping shoes, dropping toys. First figure, make my day Leo. This is a figure that I didn't actually want. It was just in a lot or a set, and I wanted the other figures that were in that set. So he was a casualty of war. A bidding war. And so was Space Cadet Raph. I didn't want this f***ing thing either. But again, I wanted the rest of the figures that were in the set, so I just had to, you know, make a few sacrifices. One of the figures that I did want in the set was wing that. Now I already have him, but he is opened, and so I wanted one that was in the package so I can put it with the rest of the collection. Here he is. This guy's awesome. It's like the Ninja Turtle version of Batman, but an actual bat. 
pretty cool. We got Ground Chuck here. He's a villain. This is Scumbug. I used to have this guy when I was a kid. Now, these next figures are some grails. Before Kimberly was Bay, April was Bay. If you didn't have a crush on April O'Neil, you probably were a girl. And some of you that did have a crush on April O'Neil might have been girls. And that's okay. But anyways, we got her. Really glad to have her in the collection. Never had her before, so really cool. This guy right here is one of my favorites. This is Metalhead, and he is an android turtle. And this guy right here, I got for my seventh birthday a long time ago, back when I turned seven, clearly. So I'm really happy again to have one of these guys. One of the ones that I had when I was a child. They just bring back the feels so much, and I love it. Then we got Mondo Gecko. This is another just awesome figure. I love this character. I have him opened, and now I have him unopened. And last but not least, one of my favorite figures of all time. I also had this as a kid, Slash, the evil turtle. It does not get any better than this. Now, one last pickup. It's a pair of sneakers. This is a pair that I will be wear testing for a performance review. Like I said, I'm not stopping the performance reviews. I'm just slowing down. I'm giving a lot of the stuff that I normally just don't want to do to the other wear tester staff members. But these... These are all me. And it's the Jordan Ultrafly. Believe it or not, this was a shoe that I've been wanting to play in ever since I first saw them. Plus they have the cushion from the CP3.9, so I wanna see for sure if like, I can actually feel it this time because I was really disappointed in the CP3 line this year. But that pretty much takes care of all of my pickups. There will be a separate video for this guy right here. Oh, also, this shoe back here in the background, everybody keeps talking about it for some reason. I've had these for a really long time. I don't even know how long, but this is the 2005 retro version of the Nike Pippin 2s. Nike Zoom Pippin 2s. And this is one of my favorite shoes of all time. I wore these when I went to Portland a couple years ago just because it's like, yo, I have to bring some classic when you go to Nike campus, you know what I mean? But somebody was asking about like making a video on these. I don't I don't see the reason to because they're not available. I really wish that Nike would retro this shoe though. I feel like it deserves a retro. I mean, they were retroed the freaking Air More Up Tempos and the Pippin 1s. Give me a freaking Pippin 2 already. Come on. But if you guys wanted a detailed look at these guys, just, you know, my overall thoughts and opinion and stuff, then uh, let me know in the comment section. Leave a like on the video. Do whatever you got to do. Let me know because uh, I don't want to make a video if it's not really relevant. You know what I mean? Like this is actually a shoe you could purchase now. This is one that you have to really like hunt for. But that's what these are in case you guys are wondering. Nike Air. Pippin 2, Nike Zoom Pippin 2, whatever they're called. I think they're awesome. And stay tuned for the separate uh, overview plus the performance review in a few weeks. So thank you guys for watching. Thanks for all your support. And with that being said, thank you guys again. And until next time, have a good one. And in case you guys are wondering, they use Leaning's cushion in the heel and then Leaning's bounce cushion in the forefoot. And that's their typical cushion setup no matter what. So when branding on the shoe are subtle but nice, you have the SC30 logo at the toe, you have a reflective Under Armour logo at the middle.